everyone, welcome to our channel and Happy New Year. Uh, today I thought I'd do a video on a topic that's been circulating quite a lot um, and it's uh, deoxyribose sugar gel. Uh, it's got a lot of press um, attention at the moment and it's been kind of touted as the, potentially the hot uh, new thing that could treat um, uh, male pattern uh, hair loss or baldness um, and potentially even female. Uh, what we'll do is kind of take a deep dive into what deoxyribose uh, sugar is um, and how this uh, can treat hair loss. Um, and so uh, before we get started, if you're new to this channel, welcome. And uh, if you are a returning uh, visitor, welcome back and thank you for your support. So let's dive right in. Uh, De deoxyribose sugar um, is actually, you might remember from your science classes um, at school, is actually a, a sugar that is made um, uh, it's basically the backbone of our DNA. It's made um, within us, um, and this is what gives our DNA its structure, and this is essential for the functioning of our cells. And so the big reason why deoxyribose is suddenly in the news, and you might have uh, seen it um, floating around a bit in magazines and newspapers, um, is because there was a study um, that was uh, in collaboration with the University of Sheffield and researchers with Comstat University of Pakistan. Um, so in the study, they showed that actually deoxyribose, a gel made of deoxyribose, can counteract an, um, a testosterone-mediated hair loss um, and actually regrow the hair which is pretty exciting. Um, there's just one catch though. The study is in mice. Um, and so as you know, you know, we differ a little bit from mice. Um, and so that is the big um, kind of warning sign. Um, it's good to get excited, but actually this is fairly a long way from, uh, there might, it may not always replicate in humans or it may slightly differently. Um, but it's still hopeful given that we know there isn't really an ideal hair loss uh, treatment. There are so many and everyone's different. It's, 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 it's exciting that there might be something new, especially for those who may have not benefited from other hair loss treatments. So how can deoxyribose, you know, this sugar that's in our DNA, why would it help um, uh, treat um, hair loss in, in humans? Um, well, there are a few things. So one of the things that deoxyribose does is it's a very powerful antioxidant. It helps protect the cells against damage, um, uh, antioxidant damage. And so one of the theories is that um, a part of hair loss is due to uh, this um, oxidant damage. And so um, it can protect the follicles against this damage and help repair them. Um, and so that kind of stimulates hair regrowth. Another is that uh, deoxyribose is thought to help counteract um, um, inflammation. So it's an anti-inflammatory and we know that chronic inflammation can lead to hair loss and androgenetic hair loss. And so this is another mechanism where it's having a protective effect. It's counteracting and protecting against chronic inflammation. Um, and then that is thought to then help the hair follicles um, regrow, provide a better environment. And the third way, the third theory is that it may also help with cellular regeneration. Remember how I said that it's a the backbone of DNA and so uh, if it uh, helps um, the cells regenerate and repair, um, you know, the hair follicles um, will then, um, are more likely to then um, heal and regrow hair. So those are the three main ways. A lot of maybes and ifs, because this is still very early and experimental, um, but this is what the thought, the thinking is. And what's cool is that if deoxyribose is found to be effective in treating hair loss, it's something that can be applied topically. Um, so in the study with the mice, they've used a gel, and so that sounds like it's something that's easy to apply or could be. Um, so how far are we from this being a treatment? Well, uh, unfortunately, it's a little bit far away. So firstly, it's animal studies, and I know that the group are working on a clinical trial. So you will need um, for that to be shown to be effective in humans in a clinical trial, and then it will take some time um, to show how much um, there is 
uh, what the right concentration is, what the right frequency, the type of application is in humans, um, and all these things, they will take, they often take years to develop and quite some time. Um, so it's not something that you're going to be immediately able to get now, but it's something that's worth keeping an eye on, especially if you do suffer from androgenetic hair loss um, and maybe other treatments haven't worked or they're working, but you're thinking of the long term, this is something useful. We also don't know if these results are going to be lifelong um, or uh, permanent or if you would need to continue to use it. The suspicion is given that other hair loss treatments require ongoing use, it's likely that this will be the case. But let's watch this space, let's see. In the meantime, what do you do if you're suffering from hair loss and male pattern hair loss or female pattern hair loss? There are some treatments, um, there's over-the-counter treatments, things like minoxidil. There are all sorts of cool new and interesting um, potential treatments like uh, hair helmets, so light therapy. There's also obviously prescription treatments, both topical and non-topical. And if you're interested in all of this, I've left a link below um, to our hair loss um, uh, articles um, and things like minoxidil, finasteride, ditasteride, spironolactone, uh, but also um, other lesser known things like melatonin, um, caffeine. Um, I've also uh, left a link to our hair loss uh, treatment pages because we uh, provide uh, custom hair loss treatments that are personalized for, for each patient. Um, and uh, of course, I have left a link to this article so that you can have a look for yourself. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Um, please let me know um, if you have had some thoughts about this treatment. Um, if you're currently experiencing hair loss and uh, you want to share that experience, uh, this is, uh, you know, or you have any questions about hair loss and hair loss treatments, please leave a comment below. Uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, and uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe um, to this channel and hit the notification bell. Until next time, stay beautiful.